Now to Hurricane Fiona, upgraded once again to a Category 4 storm. Parts of Canada under a hurricane warning as the storm barrels up the Atlantic. As Canada braces for impact, people in the Caribbean still picking up the pieces from Fiona's aftermath. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. The east coast of Canada bracing for what could be one of the strongest storms to hit the country. Canada is not, I would say, in a hurricane zone or hurricane alley, but they're going to get the next impacts from Fiona. Fiona. They do get them, but wow, this one is going to pack quite the punch. Hurricane Fiona racing up the Atlantic after passing Bermuda, where at least 70% of the island is without power. Power crews won't be sent out until the storm is gone, but officials say they're prepared. This is the time where Bermudans depend on us, and we will rise and make sure that they are protected and that they get turned on as soon as possible. Authorities opened shelters and closed schools beforehand as locals stocked up on essentials. I have lots of water snacks, canned meat, mostly non-perishables I purchased for the store. Our Rob Marciano on the ground there. There's the bottom of a hull of a boat there. There's a mast of a sailboat sticking out of the water and then a bow also sticking out of the water. I don't, a good 25 to 30 percent of the boats in this harbor have not only unmoored, but they've sunk. Fiona blamed for at least eight deaths across the Caribbean after first making landfall in Puerto Rico. More than 900,000 customers still without power there. No word on when it will be restored. Meteorologists are also keeping an eye on a tropical depression forming in the Caribbean. They say it has the potential to become a significant hurricane and could target Florida, though exact specifics on strength, timing and track are still up in the air. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.